technically was a uh, violation of the law. Save some mustard, this is only day two. <laughs> had the opportunity to have a morning coffee and veggie burrito here at uh, Trailhead 42 Coffee Shop. 42 Mile Coffee Shop, something like that. Now about to get back on the Ohio Deary Trail. There we go. Good morning, friend humans. Uh, this is about the first time I've had enough light <laughs> to be able to talk to you. I'm on the trail early this morning because yesterday's uh, into Cincinnati and out of Cincinnati was enough that I stopped after only 30 miles. So that means today we've got 80 miles to go. And uh, 80 miles is a lot. More than I've done uh, in one sitting. So we'll see how it goes. But I left uh, at about 6.15 this morning. Then I stopped for a coffee at the 42-mile uh, coffee shop here in Loveland, Ohio. This is a lovely, lovely little town. It's famous for being a Valentine capital. In the 1970s, uh, they got a campaign going to get people to submit Valentines to the post office here so they'd be postmarked from Loveland. And they've continued to that trend ever since. And they definitely have fun. It's that kind of a that kind of a place. Okay, detour. So that was exciting. Apparently the uh, bridge across the little creek in Loveland, pedestrian bridge and part of the OTET, is closed from October 1st through May of 2024. Wouldn't you know it, there was no designated detour, so I had to do a little bit of scrambling to figure something out. I'm now on one of the surface streets, hoping to make it back to the, the trail properly. Shouldn't be too much further. It is gorgeous out here today. Even this morning when I could just barely make out the trail in front of me, I mean, beyond my headlights. It was a gorgeous morning. But being able to see the little Miami River, oh, this is all lovely. Detour number two. <sighs> oh, steep hill. But this is the detour, so it must be taken. behind me ah, is a great reminder of the original purpose of this trail. The Little Miami Trail here follows the former Little Miami Railroad, which followed the Little Miami River. It's a lot of infrastructure and a lot of things all in one area. And this uh, caboose back here from 1905 is just uh, emblematic of everything that went into this. You see that canals uh, and the rivers were necessary infrastructure to begin moving goods from the interior of Ohio uh, to all the ports where they would be sold. After the canals 
were built, the railroad was invented and the railroad was much more efficient. But they had all of these infrastructure points along the Little Miami River. And so they built the railroad uh, along the Little Miami River as well as a way to connect to those points that already existed. It also helps that most river areas, the region right around them are flat. So it made it easier to make the grade work. I just love seeing these reminders of the history of things because now, of course, these old railroads have been turned into bike trails. And again, flat is wonderful for that. Uh, less about moving industry and industrial goods and agriculture and the like, and moving people and exploring, which is kind of where we are. This is the town of Moro. And every time I think of that, I remember reading the, uh, the Oz books in which Dorothy always says something about tomorrow, and it's hyphenated, like to morrow. The uh, thought was morrow was morning the next day. Now we just kind of think of it as tomorrow, tomorrow is one word. And that was about the same time that this caboose was made, actually. 1905, right around the time that the Oz books were being published by L. Frank Baum. It's interesting all the connections you can make. I'm going to take a moment here and recharge myself and recharge the electronics. But it is good to be able to take a break today. And to see and wonder, ponder all these things. So I'm out here riding on the Little Miami Trail and I run into a, another long distance cyclist here. He's going a little further than I am. Jeff, do you want to talk about where you're going and what's going on? Yeah, right on. My name is Jeff Mulby. I'm a volunteer with the American Cancer Society and uh, I'm riding in support of their Road to Recovery program, which helps patients get to their appointments if they have trouble doing that. And uh, My current plan is to get down to Florida for the winter and then I'll spend the next couple of years just kind of winding around the country. Man, getting down to Florida, you started in Michigan. Yeah. And we're meeting up here halfway, well, not halfway, but a little bit along the way in Ohio. Um, how long do you expect to be on the road? Uh, I am going to get to Atlanta uh, by the 14th, and then I'm going to fly home for the holidays, um, and then uh, resume after Thanksgiving, uh, get down to Florida by Christmas time, hopefully, and, uh, you know, after that, I'm just going to keep going. Fantastic. Well, good luck in your, your travels here. I'm so glad to have run into you and to have right. a few moments to, to share Absolutely. here. Absolutely. It's nice meeting you, Lucas. through Spring Valley right now and my original original plan this would have been the town in which I stayed the night on night one 60 miles or so from Cincinnati 
hard to believe that that was the, uh, the original plan. And I'm only now just reaching it. It's two o'clock in the afternoon on day two. <laughs> but I have ridden 45 miles already today. So I'm more than halfway to London, which will get me back on track. Probably going to arrive after dark because I need to stop for a little bit and have some food. But it is, uh, it's been a really good day out here. Temperature's not been too high. Been able to see some neat things, but I'm a little sore and I need to have some lunch. Something more than a handful of gummy bears anyway. <laughs> we seem to be uh, on multiple trails at once. As we're coming into Xenia, that makes sense. Xenia was a uh, major crossing point for the railroads. Hello, Mr. Beaver. How are you? Hard at work? made it through the town of South Charleston Whew, and as you can probably tell I am exhausted no surprise I've come 73 miles already I have another 10 ish to go but we are going to make London tonight and I set out this morning that was my goal get back on track make sure that I was able to keep the timetable that I've got. I've only got till Sunday to head back home. And ending day one early was difficult. Now, because of that, I left early this morning, of course. I knew 80 miles was going to be a challenging day. But there was more to that story. You see, the, uh, the guide put out by the Ohio to Erie Trail Association mentioned that there was the ability to uh, sleep in one of the parks at Milford. Milford was only 16 and a half miles from Cincinnati, but with going back and forth, you know, I needed a place to stay. That made sense to me. But they failed to note, or at least I failed to notice it, was that that was only in the summer months. After August, they no longer allow that. Plus, you can't just roll in that night and stay in the park. You apparently need to get the uh, permission of the mayor's office. So around 2 a.m. I had a visit from some police officers who were very kind. I explained what was going on and despite the hour they said, you know, as long as you're out of here before dawn, all's well. So part of my leaving early was to uh, fulfill my promise to the police of Milford. And I, I do appreciate the miscommunication and the, the fact that I didn't follow procedure. I didn't know that, but technically sleeping in that park was a uh, violation of the law. So I feel a little chagrined about that. However, 
it did get me on the trail early this morning. And that means that I'm going to be arriving maybe just after dusk, just after sundown. And that's pretty amazing. And unlike Milford, London has a completely free campsite. One of the reasons I was so stoked to get there. And it's right on the trail. I'm probably going to make a donation to them uh, as a thank you for letting me stay there. There's, you know, there's a part of me that wants to extend this 83 miles of the day another 17 and get my get my imperial century out of the way but maybe <laughs> maybe i should save some save some mustard this is only day two <laughs> and there will be some long days coming up so we'll see what will happen It's London. <laughs> yes. <sighs> Finally made it to the campsite. Eighty-two and a half miles completed today. Yes, so good. And sun hasn't gone down. <laughs> <laughs> 